Hello everyone and welcome to the start of my novellathon reading vlog. I know you're in a weird spot right now, but it's the only place I can set up my camera. Um, or my phone, if you will. Um, I'm getting in the car. I just got off of work. Where I may or may not have accidentally fell asleep for like three hours. It's fine. We're good. I'm alive. I didn't fi get fired. No one knew. So. <laughs> See, if you can sneakily sleep somewhere at work, like, you're golden. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I just got off of work. And I... I'm going to Marshall's and I think also the craft store because the craft store is right next to Marshall's and my mom needs me to pick up some stuff from there. Um, it's in the next town over. I'm going to be driving a little bit, um, but I'm pretty tired. I have to get a few gifts for co-workers and um, possibly my mom's stocking because as eldest daughter, you're, in, you're automatically in charge of your mother's stocking. <laughs> It's just the way the cookie crumbles with being the eldest daughter. Um, so I'm going to do that and then just look around and see what I find. So um, I am going to go do those things for reading right now. I am, I've not picked up a novella today. I was going to read during the time I had off today, like at work because I had nothing to do, but I fell asleep instead. So... <laughs> Um, right now I'm listening to Kissing Kosher, but that's not a novella, but I'm loving it and I don't want to stop reading it just because the novellathon's going on, so I will be listening to that. And once that audiobook stops, then I'll pick up a novella-length audiobook. However, I don't have any novella-length audiobooks that are holiday-themed, so I don't think that I'm only going to be reading holiday-themed romances for the novellathon. I think I want to read just like any novella that I find. So I do have a shelf on my Libby full of novellas. So um, I've been doing this thing with Libby now. So what I do sometimes when I'm listening to an audiobook or even when I'm watching a TV show, I always need something on. I cannot stand silence. Um, so I go on my Libby and when you go to the Libby app, in like the search section, you can click on audiobooks and then you can narrow it down to romances, okay? And I'll tell you how many romances your library has through Libby. Mine is like 16,000 something. I have the Houston Public Library card. I really recommend it if you don't have it. Um, I think you can purchase one. Um, I used to live there, so that's why I have it. Um, but they, I've realized Libby when you narrow down your searches like that, it'll show you all of the romance books that they have on Libby in like the order where the li when the library got them. So the ones like that pop up first are like when you narrow down your search are there new additions to the library in the romance section. And so I've just been scrolling, scrolling pages and pages and pages and pages like to add those books to shelves on my Libby so I can refer back to them instead of searching for books. Like I can just like, oh, I'm in the mood for a sports romance. Let's look at my sports romance shelf. Instead of just searching sports romance on Libby, I can go to my sports romance shelf that I created and look on there because sometimes when you search sports romance on Libby or like other tropes on Libby, like things don't really pop up. I've been doing that. I don't know if that made any sense, by the way. Also, like I have not gone through the whole 16,000. What I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of the page I'm on because it tells you what page of books it is. Uh, I'll take a screenshot of the page that I'm on. I think I'm on like page like 800. I'm not even, I haven't even hit a thousand yet. And then I'll go back to that page um, when I'm in the mood to go scrolling again. So that was a little um, moment <laughs> for myself. Anyway, um, can you tell I haven't really talked a lot today? <laughs> um, I'm going to go shopping and hopefully I find some good things. And for eBooks right now, I really want to start trick shot when I get home, but I do have a whole shelf on my Amazon full of holiday novella reads and just like novellas in general also. It is now 9.15 at night. Um, I didn't really vlog anywhere in the stores that I went to because I don't know who's gonna see this and I did not shop for myself. I got one thing for myself, I got um, sometimes Marshall's has my hair products there, um, but it's like hit or miss whether my hair products are there. And so when I see one of my hair products at Marshall's, cause it's very discounted, I'm like I'm getting that now. So I have this like gel I put in my hair to control all the wispies that sometimes <laughs> happen.
happens. It like smooths it down. So um, I found that. It's the Bedhead brand. I, I would show you, but I'm very comfortable in bed right now with the dogs back here. So um, I thought I would tell y'all my reading plans because um, I haven't really read anything. We're just read it all like at all today, I know. Uh, today's Rachel's birthday, which is so exciting. One of our co-hosts, Rachel. If you don't know Rachel, what are you doing with your life? Go follow her. Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings. I love her so much. I could bet I haven't started any novellas, but I prioritize sleep today <laughs> instead of reading. That's been like an issue recently. My fatigue has been like really bad. I'm like worried a flare is gonna start again honestly for me because my fatigue has been absolutely awful recently but i was able to do one thing when i got home i made a pizza i made homemade pizza my grocery store has like a uh, fresh dough um it's frozen but it was fresh dough um like in a dough ball and I split it into two pizzas because making it into one pizza, that's too much pizza for me to eat in one sitting. So I just make two mini pizzas out of the dough. And um, I made that for my lunch for tomorrow because tomorrow is like our work Christmas party and I cannot risk getting cross contaminated with anything. So I'm just gonna bring my own stuff and pizza is always fun for me to bring. I haven't had it in a while, like the homemade one that I made. So I made that and then I got my gifts like decorated and packaged up for my coworkers for tomorrow. Um, Cause tomorrow's my last day. I'm going to be seeing them until January. I did listen to a little bit of my book today um, while I was uh, driving around. However, it's not a novella, Kissing Kosher. I will just mention this for a second. I'm in love with this. The chronic illness representation and chronic pain representation is like, I was cr almost crying on like I was turning onto my street after the store and there was a part that made me teared up like teared up so bad because I relate to it so heavily. I don't know. This is a novella, but I want to talk about what I'm reading. Um, I got hooked onto this book because of Tiff and Tiff is a co host in here. So I completely blame Tiff for having me read this book because she told me about the chronic pain rep and I was like, uh, yes, I need that now. I don't know anything about Judaism. I know nothing about the Jewish culture. Um, but this book is like really cool. Like I really like it. it incorporates baking and chronic pain representation. I can't remember what the heroine has specifically, but it's very similar to pelvic floor pain. And her life is really difficult right now. Like just living and breathing is really difficult right now. She is not having the best time, but our hero comes to the bakery to get a job under like mysterious circumstances though. Um, and basically sparks life back in her again and like helps her find happiness. And oh, oh I love him. I love them. There was the scene that made me teary eyed was um, the heroine can't eat a lot of foods because it'll cause her to flare. So I really relate to her. So she can't, one of the things she can't eat is gluten. She cannot eat gluten and oh, um, anyway, <laughs> I was getting teary eyed. I'm going to like choke up talking about this, but who the hero makes a whole entire meal for her, like completely what is dedicated to her diet and what she can or cannot eat. He did so much research to figure out what was safe for her to eat. And she hasn't been able to eat some foods in quite a long time. She works at a bakery, but she can't eat anything there because it has gluten and other things she cannot have. And so he made a bunch of baked treats out of things she can eat. And she was like, I'm in love with you, dude. Like, <laughs> I would have been the same. Because, oh my gosh, it... Food is such a love language for a lot of people. You cook for somebody, you bake something for someone, you go out to a meal together. And it means a lot when someone who cares about you so much, like it shows how much they care about you, when they dedicate the time and effort to make a meal for you that you can eat, they make sure that it's aligning with your dietary needs like it it I know it's like that's like a small thing to some people making a meal for somebody that someone can eat but for people like me who have like medical conditions that restrict what you can eat it means the absolute world like absolute world especially like 
when things were when he was talking about like cross contaminating and stuff like that like he like he did his research and did his research oh I can't with him I'm in love with him okay I'm gonna stop talking about this book because it's not a novella <laughs> but um I will talk about some novellas that I have downloaded onto my Kindle right in front of me um so I downloaded two ebooks that I'm very much interested in that I want to start soon oh I have to download trick shot let me type that in trick shot i'm really excited too because kayla gross is going to be joining us on my channel on sunday i'm so excited i've been talking to her for a little bit about doing a live like it's been mentioned once or twice and i'm so excited that we finally get to do it so yay okay so i know i talked about earlier about audiobooks but i found a kindle read and listen okay i found a kindle read and listen for same time next year by tessa bailey um all i know is that this is a holiday read um and maybe like also new year's themed so that'll be fun but it's like a i can listen to it which I'm totally down for it's currently my audible and then my two novellas that i've downloaded right now off of kindle limited i have many novellas in my kindle library but like those are like the freebies that i've gotten so i don't even want to open that can of worms because i don't know how many i have to choose from <laughs> as like free downloads that I get. But this one is A Runaway Bride for Christmas by Sadie King. This cover looks really cute, okay? It does. I love like the cute little border. And this is a runaway bride romance with a grumpy mountain man whose cabin she is forced to spend the night in. Okay, I think this one's like 80 pages. Same thing with Snowden with a Dragon by Sarah Ivy Hill. I really enjoy Sarah Ivy Hill. I've read, I think one or two of her monster alien romances and i have so much fun with them literally one of them that i read like the heroine like he's a giant alien red do dude and like she fits in his palms and they're like together like how ridiculous is that right <laughs> anyway so snowden with a dragon is apparently a cozy holiday monster romance so looks really cute i don't know which one i'm gonna pick up first but i'm gonna wind down for the night it's 9 30 i think i want to try to finish Kissing Kosher um, so I can like dedicate my whole time to novellas after that. Oh, and then obviously I just downloaded Trick Shot, which is a MMF holiday read um, by Kayla. I love Kayla. Uh, I only need to read her Bodyguard Romance, then I've read all of her backlist, I think. So I want to do that one because that one looks really good. I love a Bodyguard Romance. So. Anyway, but talking your ear off, I am going to put on some National Geographic show in the background while I uh, listen to my book. I finished Kissing Kosher today. It is Friday. I love that book. I'm getting it five stars. I know it's not a novella, but like I'm reading it right now. So I just read it. Um, and then I have finished two novellas. Look at me go. Um, I have finished, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm so bad with names. I think like The Runaway Bride for Christmas or something by Sadie King. But this is a short little romance with our heroine who is a runaway bride and she runs away with her skiing instructor. So it was an age gap there. It was fine. It was, it was good. It was a cute little read. I'm not really rating books that aren't five stars anymore. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of like sick of trying to figure out what I'm going to rate something if it's not five stars. So I just, I don't know what I'm rating. That's fine. So it's not going to have a rating. Um, same thing goes with like Snowden with a Dragon or something by Sarah Ivy Hill. I really like this author. Her books are so entertaining. She wrote a like giant one where the heroine like fits in the guy's hand. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but this one was just really cute and sweet. A faded mate. The dragon hero has been obsessed with our heroine and they get Snowden in the cabin together. It's fun. It's a fun holiday read. And then I'm currently reading and think it'll finish tonight. All I want for Christmas is a glitter orc by K.L. Mann. I love K.L. Mann. She's such a fun monster romance author. And so I saw this one and I was like, okay, let me do that. Um, our heroine wants a glitter orc for Christmas <laughs> and the hero is more than willing to provide. He's an orc and he is covered in glitter. So it's fun. <laughs> I don't have an audio yet because I finished Kissing Kosher today, but I do have a few options I can choose from. So I'm going to do that. But I just got off of reading sprints with Tiff and Samantha also joined us for part of it as well. And it was so fun. I love talking to everybody. I wish Rachel could have joined, but she had to work and that's totally fine. Like I can't wait to meet with everybody on Sunday. Like it's going to be so much fun. But I had a lot of fun chatting with Tiff 
and Sam and all the other people in the comments. It was so fun. I got a lot of recommendations. I want to read the book that Samantha finished today, which is Cassie Mint's newest holiday one. Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds really good. And then Tiffany read like a bizarre like gingerbread man one. It was weird. Um, so anyway, um, I'm gonna go jump in the shower because my legs are feeling very achy today. Like very achy. Oh, also I'm done with school for the rest of 2023. So that's good, like rest of work. So that'll be good to have a break. So all I get to do is read for the next few days. I do want to read Trick Shot. I obviously have to read Trick Shot. So after I finish the Glitter Orc book, I'll pick up Trick Shot. Very excited for. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. No, it's not Saturday morning. Oh my gosh. No, it's Saturday afternoon. I have been awake for quite a while. I'm just used to updating in the mornings with like my um like member weekly vlogs. <laughs> anyway, um, it is the afternoon. It is not the morning. I've done a lot of reading. I've done a few things. So this morning I finished all I want for Christmas is glitter orc. That was a fun, just a fun, bonkers book. It was fun. I incorporated like baking, which was fun for me. I started and finished listening to Take Me to the River by Casey Rose, which is like a 180 page novella, but the audiobook was like five hours long. Um, and it was on my Libby. I've read one previous Casey Rose. I thought maybe she'd be new, my new like Jessica Kane or Cassie Mint. Um, like novella author but I sadly don't think so I don't know I've read three of her, three two of her books at this point I read Sold to My Ex's Dad by her which was fun that one was really fun this one was fine if you want like a mountain man romance it just like it was fine it was good like nothing like too special it was very very insta lovey and sometimes insta love works for me and sometimes it doesn't so in this case it just did not work for me so it was a fine read like i had fun reading it like i'd recommend it as like a mountain man book because this guy is ginormous and lives in the mountains all by himself and so the heroine of this book she finds out while she's camping with her boyfriend that her boyfriend's been cheating on her she like goes to take a walk to cool off comes back to the campsite and the boyfriend has packed everything up and abandoned her in the middle of the woods when it's storming outside and um, she comes across our hero, um, like, bathing in the river and um, takes her back to his cabin. So it's fun. It's a fun, short, quick read. So um, I just didn't get the same vibes that I get when I'm reading a Cassie Man or a Jessica Kane, you know, like those feelings. So mm, trying to find my new Jessica Kane author, okay? I, just, I need one. <laughs> so that's two books done with in one day. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to start trick shot after I do my many things I have to do um, because I need to film today. I have three videos. That's what I've been prepping for today. All this morning while I was listening to that audiobook, I was prepping for videos. Um, today I'm going to be filming a few videos you're going to see at the end of this month for my vlogmas content. I'm going to be filming my video that's going to be going up tomorrow. It's probably already out at this point. This video goes up, um, but it's going to be my December mid-month wrap up. I have to film that and post that tomorrow. And then I am going to be filming a whole January new releases video, releases in January that I'm really excited for. I think every single month from now on, I kind of want to make a new release video talking about all the new releases that are coming up in the next month. So instead of doing 2024 anticipated releases, I'm going to be doing January 2024 anticipated releases. Um, and then I am going to be filming a video talking about your favorite books, my viewers' favorite books of 2023, because I asked on my Instagram a few days ago to tell me what your favorite books are from the year. And I'm going to make a video talking about all of those. So I have to do that. I'm going to do my hair and do my makeup, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to do all those things. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to be reading next. Well, I'm going to be reading Trick Shot. I want to do that today for ebook. Audiobook, I don't know yet. I haven't picked out a new one. I just got out on a limb the audiobook in for my library, and I am fighting with every fiber of my being to reread that book right now. Like, no, Avery, you got to read novellas. You got to read novellas. You have to. You have to do it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I will talk to you later. Um, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to watch some booktube while I do my hair and makeup. We're outside, you know what that means. Come here, come get it, come on. <laughs> He's like obsessed, you're shaking the camera, dude. You're like, you're too much right now. You're too much. 
Oh, and there goes Poppy. This is actually the day after the novellathon has ended. It is Monday, but I didn't vlog at all yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was kind of like my do whatever I want kind of day, which was very nice. I haven't had one of those in a while because there's always something to do. Um, I obviously did have the live show yesterday with us interviewing Kayla. That was so fun. I love Kayla. Like y'all need to go read her books if you have not yet and you need to stop crying. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, dude. That was so much fun with her talking to her, learning about her writing process, and seeing everybody's love for trick shot. It was, it was a great, great time. I also went on a three mile walk yesterday. Um, I take breaks in between because of my mobility constraints. Um, so I always like go get a new dog after a little bit. Candace, be careful, please. This is chaotic. Now my dog is trying to eat a bee. Hey, let's, oh. <laughs> and this one just rolled the ball off the deck. And there's a car horn. My like outside vlog clips, I always try to make them aesthetically pleasing and it never ends up that way. Anyway, <laughs> I did go on like a three mile walk yesterday. Um, I used to be able to listen to audiobooks on walks, but I found myself not really exercising to the point I would like if I listened to an audiobook. But if I put on my hot girl walk playlist, it changes things up. I like walk the pace that the song is going, you know what I mean? Like I try and match the beat to when I'm walking and it is amazing. He found another ball. Okay. Anyway, I thought I would wrap up this vlog, talk about all the novellas that I ended up reading for this holiday round of the novellathon. So um, I just also wanted to say thank you so much to Kayla for joining us for that live. It was so incredibly fun. I love chatting with her and I love all my co-hosts. I love Sam, Tiff, and Rachel. They are the best co-hosts ever. Like whenever we get together, even through a screen, it's like the best time ever I could be talking to them for like hours. I love them so much and appreciate them and all the time and energy it took to putting this readathon together. So let's talk about the books that I read. I have my iPad here that I'm going to be reading from. So you did see my updates for A Runaway Bride for Christmas. I read that one. Oh, I talked about Kiss and Kosher. That's not a novella. <laughs> um, you saw my update for Snowed In with a Dragon. And um, I did finish All I Want for Christmas is a Glitter Orc by K.L. Mann. This was just a short, quick romance read about this heroine wanting a glitter orc for Christmas. And um, this glitter orc delivers. Okay. So that is three novellas. That's what I've talked to y'all about. Um, and then I have finished a few more. So I decided to pick up the audiobook for Take Me to the River by Casey Rose. I got this one off of my Libby. It's like 188 pages ebook, but I listened to it on audio, which was about five hours. The heroine of the story is camping with her boyfriend in the woods, in the mountains. And um, she looks at his phone because it's like blowing up and it's text from this girl. And turns out he's been cheating on her and she she confronts him and kind of takes a walk to go calm herself and when she comes back to the campsite to like talk it out with him um he packed up all of his stuff all of their stuff and dipped like literally ditched her so um then she's like trying to make her way back to the oh that's a yellow jacket ah! we're good we're good <laughs> Anyway, um, she makes her way, she tries to make her way back to the parking lot where like they parked, but she gets lost and wanders across our hero who is a man living in the mountains. And um, it's their romance. He's like bathing in the river when they see each other for the first time. I also read the group book, which is Trick Shot, which is an MMF holiday romance. This was so fun. And oh, if you want a hot read, this is the one you have to pick up. It is so fun. Mm -mm -mm. there's a scene where one of the heroes like shaves her legs and i was like a puddle on the floor okay um <laughs> i also love talking about this book with my co-host and with kayla herself i loved learning about her writing process and everything i also have watched her writing process somewhat because i've been following her since i read rain me in which was the book that she published before trick shot and i've been seeing her updates on instagram while she was writing trick shot and it was a blast to watch. Oh no, he's back. This is like his kryptonite. 
I can't wait to also read Puckshy, which I think is the second book, which um, it's the heroine from this book's uh, sister's romance. And I honestly loved her. My goodness, can you be any louder, dude? Um, <laughs> I loved her as like, the br for the brief time that we met her in book one, I really enjoyed her character. So I can't wait to read her book when it comes out on Valentine's Day. And then the last one that I have is Once Upon a Krampus by K.D. Frazier. This is like a 60 page um, Krampus novella which I've read quite a few of those but in like all of them Krampus is this like evil dude there's like a lot of bondage involved for some reason in like the Krampus books that I read but this one is so sweet if you're wanting a Krampus book where like Krampus is like this giant like scary looking dude but in like his heart he's this softy of a guy who just wants a life for himself like mm, you need to pick this one up our heroine is a widow her husband died a few years ago got to throw the ball one second okay <laughs> so she's a widow and before her husband died like they moved out into the woods to kind of live off the land and like escape civilization um and then one day she's hunting um, and she's very lonely, by the way. Like, she lives a very lonely life. She's hunting one day in the woods, and um, she accidentally mistakes Krampus, who's, like, going through the woods, for a bear and shoots him in the back. And the heroine invites him back to the cabin to apologize, to clean up his wound, and to hopefully give him a cup of tea, say she's sorry for what happened. And these two end up falling for each other around Christmas time. Like, it was really sweet. Like, if if you're wanting this giant, scary, oh, another girl jacket, Sorry. <laughs> if you're wanting a Krampus book where the Krampus character is really sweet, please pick this one up. It's so short. I ended up reading six books, six novellas in this video. And then I also talked about Kissing Kosher, but that's not a novella. So I talked about seven books. I had so much fun. I always have fun reading novellas with my friends. And it's so funny because like we get so many bizarre fun recommendations as well. And that's one thing that I love about novellas sometimes is like, I love reading like, you know, like the raw emotional books, right? Like the next girl, like the next romance reader. Like I love those. But sometimes I just want to pick something up that is absolutely bonkers, crazy, that is actually really fun. Poppy decided to join us. Um, <laughs> so um, I had a lot of fun with this. Like novellas are a great form of escapism if you're not wanting to read something like huge. So I always have fun, right? Right. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful novellathon. Let me know how many books you read um, and what was your favorite book that you read from the novellathon. I would love to know. Mine might be Trick Shot. I don't know. I hate picking favorites. <laughs> if I have to pick a favorite book I talked about, it's definitely Kissing Kosher, but that's not a novella, so that's cheating. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and for Willow barking. <laughs> Um, if you don't feel like commenting any of those things that I mentioned, you can leave me a ball, a ball emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye all.